Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with a new doll unboxing. Today we have got Kit Toons Crybabies BFF dolls. Now this is the two pack. I picked this up today at my local Walmart. It is on the pricier end of dolls, but you do get two of them and it's $39.99. And the reason I wanted to pick them up was because I wanna see if these are dolls that I wanna wait for them to go on sale and then use them to rebody my Stacy dolls, or if these dolls are gonna be really kinda of like worth my time. So here are the little like containers and you get 20 plus pieces in here. So there's two complete dolls plus a friendship necklace. Every friendship necklace I've ever seen has had two parts, but this one just seems to be one. Uh, and we have the dolls Coney and Sydney. Coney has pink hair, Sydney has blue hair. Now, I've done a couple of, like, the baby dolls by Crybabies, but this is the first time I've done any of the big dolls. Now, here's the back of the box. As you can see, their art is pretty cute. Um, it does display some more of the dolls. There are individual dolls that are put out. This is uh, by IMC Toys. I'm not sure if it's actually in collaboration with MGA or not, but let's see the bottom of the box. So here is the UPC for anybody looking for it. I don't see MGA anywhere over here, so it must just be the IMC this time around with these. But they're very cute. And here's the more of the artwork for Coney here on the side. And they're very cool. Now, from what I've seen on Instagram, these dolls just kind of pop out of the top of these tubes. And the tubes spin to give you like different expressions. I don't know why. The dolls don't have different faces as far as I know. But it's kind of cool that it shows it like that. It does seem like this is a waste of packaging material because this is additional plastic. Uh, that's gonna wind up in the oceans, but it's okay. So let's just try and cut through as much of the tape as I can see. Okay, so if I take that out, okay. I'm gonna tilt you guys down a little bit more. So as you can see, it turns into like a playset thing. And we've got one of, we've got a couple of our accessories back there as well. But let's see, oh, and this part actually comes out. So that's kind of cool. And it shows like a little closet back there also. So very cool. Um, I do appreciate when the, when the, what's the word? The packaging, it doubles as like a play set. That's always nice. But whether or not this is going to be a good playset is kind of up to them. Let's see, does this just pop out? I'm not sure. There's not really a good explanation on here for like how you're supposed to pop your guys out. So I just took the one thing out. It does have like a little like thing here on the bottom. As you can see, we just turn these individually. So we're gonna keep Sydney over there. And you see there's stuff behind them in the box. So that's kind of cool. And then we just fold that out. But, our best bet is really just to pop them out like that. 
again, some more cool stuff back there. It does take off a little bit of this plastic, of like the uh, cardboard design there on the bottom, which in my opinion seems a little bit like it didn't need to be there. This could have been attached with a, uh, with a zip tie if they were gonna use this much plastic already. But I think that's all that's in there. I'm gonna pull the box off to the side real quick. Oh, there's even more when you undo it, it looks like. Oh no, it's just duplicates of the side. Okay. All right, yeah, that's fine. So it's very cool that it does play into this, um, into the box aspect, kind of like when we get uh, the bigger uh, LOL doll sets. But it's also one of those things that you look at and you go, hmm, did I really need that? Or would it have been a better, uh, a better use of resources to do something else with all that plastic? So here is our little friendship necklace. Uh, it's not like a mood ring or anything, which would have been, I think, kind of cooler. Uh, it's just some beads on a string. Oh well. It doesn't even, like, go that far up. Like, it's just a couple of beads. So, it looks like our main dolls are going to be in these tubes. And then our accessories and things are going to be back here. So, without further ado, let's get this open. Let's try and figure this out. Best way to get this tape off, because we open them from the top. You know what, we're just gonna do a quick slice like that. Okay. Oh, and we do pull like the whole doll out nothing else in the tube. So I'm going to set the tube off to the side before we unwrap her. So this is what she looks like, as you can see. She's pretty cute. Uh, how is she held on? Oh, she's not. But that's a stand, so that's kind of cool. So it does give you a stand, which is nice. Uh, as you can see, she's a little, she is a little messy, straight out of the box. She's got these little like random things, but she does have elbow and wrist articulation, as you can see. Plus hips and knees, no feet articulate, no foot articulations, but pretty good. Uh, we do have some glass eyes or glass styled eyes, which probably means they're plastic. She is a big head doll, but look at the size of that neck. It is tiny. You guys could see that. Like that is a thin neck. Um, so, but just compared to like a rainbow high doll head, like she's of a similar size head to rainbow high. Like that's kind of weird for how much smaller of a doll she is. Like I'm all for big head dolls doing their thing, but like when it comes to scale, sometimes it is just really off. But She's got cute hair. She's got that, uh, the twist braids, which are kind of all the rage on TikTok right now, which is kind of fun. Um, no shoes on right at this moment. I think that's in her little, uh, whatchamacallit. And then we just kind of pop her onto her thing. Oh, yeah. Put one braid on either side, I guess, so we can actually do that. And she goes in her little, uh, stand just like that. So, not bad. 
Let's take a look at her friend, Sydney. And again, we're just gonna cut through that tape instead of trying to take it off. And then empty tube in there. And we're gonna set that off to the side. And here is Sydney. Again, just kind of like sitting on that uh, stand. A lot of her accessories are already in here. Her hair is a little messy for coming straight out of the packaging. Uh, but I like how there's not much, there's no like staples through her outfit or anything. Um, so very cute. I think these two are the same shade. Mm. She may be slightly darker. Just like a hair of a shade darker. But she's got cute eyebrows. She seems pretty well rooted. Honestly. So good reroots or good roots on these dolls. There's something about the eyes though. I don't know why. I think it's because the eye art is just uh, off a little bit. But. <laughs> I don't know. They give me a little bit of Children of the Corn vibe. So we're gonna just set her back in her stand. We're just gonna part her hair just a little bit. And set her right there. I don't think she went on fully. Uh, but good articulation on the dolls. They have a bit of the cave club problem Way the, where they made their feet really big. But that does mean they're a little bit more stable. But let's take a look at these. So here is our little insert. So it does look like we get... These two are exclusive to the two-pack. And then these six are going to be the ones that come individually. I've seen Stella, Dottie, and I think Katie listed so far on Walmart.com. And they're 20 each. So you don't really take a price cut when you get the single pack versus the two pack. Um, but they do have kind of a variety of shade. It doesn't really look like much of a much of a variety though. Based on this artwork. But I am kind of excited for this Phoebe because it'll be a uh, a darker skin doll at this scale. But let's take a look. So we do have to use our nippers. Really for the first time, we have to use our nippers to get these out. I'm okay with that. They're not going through anything. So this is supposed to be on Coney. So we just like pop this right there. I don't know, actually. It doesn't really like pop on her head. It's like too small, kind of. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not great. That's weird. Okay, yeah, so that's unfortunate. That hat does not fit on the head. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's like flexible, but like, you know, it doesn't actually fit on the head. Like, you kind of shove it on there, but I feel like a, and it's popping off. You guys can see that subtle movement. 
That's weird. And then these are just supposed to go on our, uh, on Sydney in her hair, just as like clips, I guess. But they don't have clips really. You have to just kind of, Oops, sorry about that guys. I've got a guess kind of like this. Wow, that doesn't really fit in there well at all either. Kind of get that. Hmm. Okay. So, a negative on that one. None of the hair accessories seem to work right. Um, which is unfortunate. There we go. Now she's finally in her stand. Okay. Weird. That they don't actually work right but and then so yeah we opened that in the right order surprisingly it does have a box opening order but these instructions are hidden inside the first part so I don't know how that was supposed to work if you're gonna have a specific box order and then everything's wow just in there All right, that's a, that's a way to do it, I guess. <laughs> Everything was just in a pile in there. So of course, here is our bag for our Sydney. I wanna call her Skylar for some reason. It's kind of a cute bag. It's like a swan princess bag. I'm okay with that. Um, and then the shoes for her. Kind of cute. And then we've got like a bunny bag for our Coney. And some cute little bow shoes. And then some little shimmer socks for her. And some cute little ribbon socks for the other one. And then they have two matching BFF necklaces to the one, to the big one. At least I think it's supposed to match. Because it's like that same kind of pendant. Um, okay. So, not bad. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, everything just came out all at once. Uh, for $40 worth of dolls... The, uh, the hair accessories, one, are, like, really the wrong scale. Like, look at how big those are compared to the artwork. And, like, the bunny ear thing isn't even, like, the same design as the character. Like, one ear is supposed to be tilted down. Uh, interesting. Like, the shoes are shown as polka dots here. And they are not polka dotted here on this one. Like, I get sometimes you have to sacrifice a little bit, but like, that's kind of a big change, especially when you're the one making the artwork for the dolls. I don't know. Okay. So, interesting. But, I mean, at least the socks go on pretty easily. That's nice. And then we just pop our shoes on our feet. There is a right and a left mold, at least. I 
I don't love the way these clothes work. Like, look at that. That's all over the place. But let's just pop her little necklace on. Okay. Weird. See, like, this stand works, but it's a, uh, it messes up your clothes. So that's a little bizarre. Uh, and let's take this one and put her socks on. Okay. So that's how those shoes go on. Oh, and let's not forget her little BFF necklace. Okay. I mean, it's interesting. I'll give them that. But, I don't know. And they've got a lot of blushing here on the knees of all places. Which feels a little, uh, I don't know, just odd? like an odd choice. So this is what they look like when you put all of their accessories on them. So, I mean, you really don't do much other than getting the hat and the hair pieces out and putting the socks and the shoes and the necklace on, which is good, you know. It's a little bit better than the, uh, the, the OMGs where you have to like assemble the doll from all the different like wrapped packages. But at twenty dollars a doll, I don't know. Something the math's not mathing right now. So I'm gonna take all their stuff off of them, and we're gonna look at their pieces individually. So we looked at their shoes and their socks already, which I like these little like socks. I could probably use these. A rainbow high doll but I don't know the necklace again is a little weird but I could definitely use this for another doll and then I don't know how so we're going to so here are like her overalls that are crossed I feel like this would have been cuter if they had just done regular overalls like this shirt's not bad underneath it's got like some cap sleeves like nothing too crazy um, it does have painted underwear which I don't love but it's not crazy out of the possibility so the problem I'm having is I don't know how these heads are gonna come off because they're not, they're not soft. Like, these are hard-headed dolls. As you can see, they've got some ears under there. Um, let's see, they put a year on these. Do these get stuck in development? No, no year. But. I like the elbow and the wrist articulation. They've got hip and they've got uh, knee, which is nice. They've got flat feet. Here they are in scale to a rainbow high doll. So about hip height. So these are about the right height for my Stacy dolls. 
Now let me show y'all what I mean when I say that, because I've got to grab some of my other ones. So here is one of the Barbie Extra Minis that I'm using for my Chelsea's. And wow, that scale looks way off. I don't know why. Hmm. But that's the size compared to that. Or we have a Creatable World doll. That is what I use for my skippers. So, again, she's in that middle zone, which is the whole reason I looked into these dolls because I want to see if they're the right size. For my Stacy's, I know I'm not going to be able to use her shoes because these feet are so big, but I don't know. This might be better for like an elementary school Rainbow High kind of thing, but the Rainbow High necks are a lot thicker. So, hmm, interesting. I think her underwear on the other one is just yellow, but... We've already looked at the body, so I'm not going to take the rest of her stuff off. But I don't know. I'm going to have to heat these heads to show you guys what the, um, what the neck looks like. So I'm going to take a break and uh, come back in just a second. Okay, y'all, I am back from taking the head off. And I must warn you, what you're about to see is extremely disturbing. What is that peg? Like, it goes all the way to the top of the head. Like, that's, that's crazy. Like, why? That's huge. What is that? But it does come off. There's not actually a neck joint, so I didn't really need to heat it up. You can see it's just kind of tight in there. Um, but I was a little worried with it being a... Uh, a hard head doll as you can see it does squeeze a little now even the like walk over from the kettle has uh, <laughs> has made it firm back up but so I don't know this feels more like I would use it for a rainbow high doll than I would use it for a um, than I would use it for a Barbie I don't know the scale is just a little off. Like, she's the right size, but it's like the, um, I don't know. This body is bizarre because it's, it's pretty much at the rainbow high scale and proportions, I feel like compared to a more realistic proportion. Not that Barbie is realistic, but it's a little more scaled realism than, uh, than Rainbow High, which is like 70% legs. Um, but like I said, this is a big head. Like, and that peg goes all the way through it. So, you might be able to put a rainbow high hat on here. Not that I think you'd really want to, but, I mean, you probably could. You build the peg up a little bit, you could definitely put a junior high hat on here. If you wanted to make someone a little shorter. Uh, or, not a little shorter. Significantly shorter. But, so, I mean, if you want to do a Rainbow High Little Sister, I feel like these dolls are pretty close to the Rainbow High aesthetic. Like, 
The eyes are wonky. Like, they're weird. But you could... You could change them up, probably. Relatively easy. I don't know how easy it'd be to swap these eyes, considering how tiny the neck hole is. But... It's still pretty cool. But at $20 a doll and $40 for the two-pack, I think they're overpriced. But, ah, God, I, I hesitate saying they're overpriced because they are good quality, but they don't come with extra outfits like, o, like OMG dolls do. Um, or Rainbow High dolls. Well, the Rainbow High Junior High didn't. Um, and they were about that price. So, eh, maybe. But it just feels weird, considering this is more of that middle line doll, where it's not really a fashion doll. I don't know. Like, I'm hesitant to say anything negative about these, because they do what they're doing. The only thing negative I've really had to say is, like, the, the hair accessories don't fit on the head. Like, I mean, because cause they don't. Like, I'm shoving that on, and it's still shrinking back up. So, I don't know. That's weird. The stands are a little weird. Uh, I was expecting some more gimmick when it came to uh, taking them out of the tube rather than them just being in the tube. Like, I was expecting some sort of twist gimmick for the accessories or something, but... Like, they're little dolls. It's what they do. Like, I mean... I don't know. These, considering that the original extra minis are also like big head dolls that are at a smaller scale. Um, retail for like 15. Maybe it's at the right price. I don't know. They retail at a fair price. I'm going to say they're retailing at a fair price. For what I was planning to do with them, they're overpriced, but I think they're retailing at a fair price as, like, a single doll at $20 is about where you're going to be when you've got articulation. But it feels weird because these aren't full-size fashion dolls like we normally would be paying that price for, which is my same complaint with the extra minis. Uh, but they do what they're supposed to do. I mean, it's weird, but... They do what they kind of claim to do. I wouldn't put the head, like, accessories on because they don't really fit. Um, but other than that, I mean, they're cool. They're all right. Like, this is the size her head should be if she was going to be on there. Let's see what a Kelly head would look like on there. So, I mean, a Kelly would fit into that scale pretty well. If that was, like, you know, appropriate, but... <laughs> I mean, a Stacy head's gonna push it right to, like, the limit to where it's gonna take up most of that spot. I don't know. It's interesting how some of these work. But, I mean, they are dolls. I'll give them that. They are big head dolls. Let's see how easy it goes back on. So, it does fight me a little bit putting it back on over this little bulb but I feel like that's probably just because it's uh, a really tiny neck hole. It feels like I broke that peg a little bit, but I'm not sure. I thought I heard something snap. 
but that could have just been it popping through that second ring. Um, let's see. No, that's good. So, I mean, it pops right back on. I don't think I'll use them for my Stacy's like I was planning on, but you know, they're kind of cute, but I, I don't know. You know, I, I normally have a pretty, pretty clear cut opinion on some of these things, but with these, I don't know what that opinion really is. Because, like, everything is well made. Like, these molds are really nice. Like, it's even got things to hold the hair to keep it in place. But it's not big enough to actually sit where it's supposed to sit on the doll compared to these little hair accessories that are too big that they take up too much room on the head. The printing on the shoes thing, that's just a preference. I would have rather them been polka dot like they're actually supposed to be according to their illustrations. Um, that would have been nice. But, and like, the strap in the illustration is pink. Like, they obviously put pink on there with the ears. Why didn't they make the strap pink? You know, that's weird, but, and then like the bag over here was supposed to have some black detailing and like the orange from the, from the beak painted, if you see that in there and it didn't get done, but they added blue. And like her feathers are supposed to have blue and they added the yellow, but didn't add the black for the eyes on her little accessories or the blue at the end of the feathers. So I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like they planned to do more with the accessories and then they just kind of rushed it out. So... I don't know. I feel a little bit like they were gonna do more and then just stuff went off the rails a little bit with them. But as far as I know, Crybabies has never done like fashion dolls before. But they've done other things before. Other things that I've liked that they usually stick really close to their um, to their illustrations on. So, I don't know. I would probably use these bodies if I was going to do a different doll. These would probably be like Rainbow Elementary School dolls or something like that. And like I said, I could keep the heads on. Like they're pretty much in scale. Like, this could be Elementary School Bella, or Elementary School Skylar, if we needed to. Um, but, I don't, like, they're, mm, it's a thing, because I don't know if I actually like the dolls or not. Like, the materials are not cheap, really. Like, the stitching is well done on the clothes. There's elastic in there that's done. Uh, again, elastic on the shorts. This top is really cute. You know, her outfit is cute. Socks are well done. But, I don't know, it's a head scratcher. Whether or not I could say, you know, these dolls are worth it. I think if the price gets dropped down to 15 I'd be a little less, uh, a little less, <sighs> a little less hesitant to recommend them, but I 
think it's just the price that's putting me off a little bit. Because this big thing was 40 But, I don't know. The fact that they're exclusive dolls to the two-pack is nice. You're not going to get duplicates from the other, from the others, but it kind of feels like, well, why was this a two-pack? Like, there was nothing special about it other than this cheap little, like, 25-cent necklace that we could have gotten out of a vending machine. So I don't know. I think, in my opinion, this is going to be a meh doll. I love the articulation, but the scale is just slightly off. But it's in a rainbow high, kind of like MGA scale. Like, I, I haven't done any of the, um, the OMG teens, but it does seem like a more at that scale little bit but I don't know what do y'all think because I, I can't make up my mind whether or not I like these or not so if you like them leave a comment and tell me why if you hate them leave a comment and tell me why if you think they're worth the $20 a piece you know and that's in US U.S. dollars. These are going to be more abroad. Even though these are, uh, this is a Spanish toy company. So maybe if, you, if you're from Spain, if you're from España, uh, let me know. Uh, if you think this is more at retail price in your, in Spain or not. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, thanks for watching and be good, y'all. Bye.